praise Jesus. Here's the new design. It's called the Glory Flute. And uh, it's a beautiful flute. The sparkles and the glitter and gold. Um, it has glittering thread as well. It's gold and silver and three spots. Again, representative of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the threads are wound each seven times. After some research and hearing some people talk about flutes and the history of flutes, uh, I discovered that it's taught in some Jewish circles that the flute was the last instrument to be played during the tabernacle times of service. And the sound of the flute was representative of the presence of God, His sweet fragrance, the presence of Yahweh Himself as they would minister to the Lord with a flute as the last instrument to be played after their gathering times. And you know that it's so true that there's something very unique about the flute. It does take the breath, the Ruach, given to us by the Lord to play it. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Amen. So I had it in my heart to make a flute that was and is a representation of His glory. And what it must have been like to be in the tabernacles, or the tabernacle of the time of Solomon, and to hear that worship going forth. There's an ancient sound that's coming out again. And I believe that these flutes are a part of that ancient sound. And, you know, these are not just some ordinary instrument. The Lord called me to make flutes. It's been over 10 years. It was back in 2006 that uh, I received the gift and the calling to make these flutes. Quite a journey it has been. Uh, it's been a wonderful journey and it's, it's progressing and uh, for God's glory, these flutes have gone throughout all the world now. Uh, there's parts of it that I, that I know that they're still going to go into. You know, this has uh, been played in the mountains of Iraq. Not this flute, but I had someone in the very beginning of my flute making ministry order a whole bunch of the flutes, took it to the mountains of Iraq, and they prophesied with their breath through the instrument. And it was then that I really began to see the... the uh, that deep calling of what the Lord is saying about this. Of how He's calling for His people to sound the sound of ministering to Him. And as you minister to Him, I believe just as David did, the evil spirits can flee because the presence of God comes and sets people free. And I just think... What would have been the song of the time of the tabernacle? Now, this flute, as well as all my other flutes, I, you heard the introduction piece that I was playing. It was just a spontaneous song. And this flute, that was a, a, in the minor key. This is a B minor flute, natural B minor right here. And, you know, the minors have a beautiful dark sound to it, uh, a mysterious sound. And the majors, they have a happy, brighter sound. And you can play that as well. Uh, with this flute right here, you can start on that key right there. It'd be D major right there. Uh, so I'll play it without the reverb so you can hear how it really sounds. But I do enjoy adding the reverb with it. If you don't have a reverb, microphone effects, find a long hallway that's empty or empty garage that's big and empty with concrete, you know, on the side walls that are hard and Find a church that's big and empty, not carpeted, but like a stone, some, some kind of room like that, and you'll hear a beautiful sound that's echoing. But you know what? The most important beautiful sound that you can make is from your heart to Yeshua Jesus. And that is where the true worship is from, is from the heart. And uh, so these instruments are holy and consecrated for God's purposes. And it's a prophetic example, actually, of what God is requiring of us, His people, to be holy, to be separate, to be set apart for His purpose. 
And that's how these instruments are. And uh, for His glory. So let's play a little bit of it again. And just thank the Lord for His presence. Amen. Praise Jesus. This one is in the key of B minor or D major. And these flutes, this style of flute from the purity design and this glory flute design can be applied to any of the flutes that I produce. If you'd like that on another flute you hear, let me know and I can get with you on the pricing that it would be. But there's much love and care put into these flutes and I am very meticulous with what I do. And I believe you'll see that when you receive these flutes. God bless you. Thank you for supporting the tribe of Judah flute-making ministry the Lord has given me. God bless you. <laughs> 